Hello friends, it's Ali dropping in to share with you a new scrapbooking layout for the Scrapbook Nerd. Today I am playing with Coco Vanilla Studio. Uh, the collection is Great Escape. I thought this collection would be absolutely perfect for the memory that I wanted to document, which is a trip, family trip that we took back in February um, to visit the in-laws, my in-laws. So the layout that I'm creating is inspired by a traveler's notebook sized layout, which are generally like three inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall or three by eight. Mine's a little bit bigger than that because I find that size really hard to work with. So I created my template in Cricut Design Space with a gutter on the left hand side. That measures four and a half inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall. And I find that gives me enough room to breathe and feel comfortable with creating. There's a lot of white space in this layout and I decided to utilize that by putting all of my embellishing, journaling and the title up in that space. So it's in the top right hand corner of my photo, which by the way, my photo is printed oversized as well, which means I printed it at four and a quarter inches by eight inches. So there's a nice white border around my photo. Um, my template is obviously cut from white cardstock, uh, just FYI. <laughs> that includes the border too, or the gutter. So at the very top of the layout, I took the striped pattern paper and cut just a tiny little strip of it off to four and a quarter inches wide, like long, by 0 0.25 inches tall. And then on that, I added this little, I'm calling it a tag. I don't think originally it was meant to be a tag, um, but that's what I'm calling it. So the top part of the tag was cut um, from white cardstock and also the journaling was written on that as well in Cricut Design Space. And then underneath it, I created just another little rectangle that had the rounded corners um, same as the top of the white one, um, for just a little bit more interest. And then on top of that, between the plaid pattern paper at the bottom and then the white portion of this mat, I added some of the word phrases from the cut apart sheet in the six by eight paper stack. I don't know how I never thought of using them this way before, but I actually really like it and I think I'll do it again in the future. That way I actually get them used up. <laughs> I had uh, this gold snowflake kicking around forever on my desk and didn't know where I was going to use it and then realized as I was designing this layout that it was a near identical match to the colors in The Great Escape. Um, I think that snowflake is like, it could be Simple Stories or Vicky Booten, but I'm pretty sure it's Simple Stories. So I glued it with liquid glue to the bottom left hand of my little tag and put my title on top of it, which is from the Puffy Titles sticker sheet, also from this collection, and was not happy with how the N in nature totally like pretty well covered the snowflake. You'll see later on in the video that I fix it and I'll show you how I do that when we get there. So I'm just adding a few more of the puffy stickers that come with the sheet. Um, or just the puffy sticker sheet is what I'm gonna say. It's little tiny, tiny. <clears throat> I used some of the stars off of that to embellish my layout. And here I felt like I was pretty well done this layout. Then I decided after I fixed my snowflake, so what I did to fix the snowflake was um, actually peeled up the title. Amazingly, um, it worked quite well using my little spatula that comes with my Cricut. Um, I don't think it had totally set yet because it released really nicely and didn't tear the paper or anything. So what I did is I went back to my Cricut and I cut this snowflake. It's, it cut in two layers. I used liquid glue to attach them together and then put it over top of the original snowflake and you'd never know that um, I'd ever fixed it in the first place. 
That's it for me, friends. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope I inspired you and I will be back again soon. Bye, guys.